Welcome to my channel Internet Tomodachis, I'm Max and today we'll be doing a very interesting video. It is about Boksu. This is not a sponsored video as I was procrastinating from work last month. So I came across this website, Boksu, that sends you Japanese snacks right to your doorstep. How convenient! So the February Boksu is all about Kit Kats and you know y'all, I love Kit Kats. So Kit Kat comes in a variety of different flavours such as matcha, more matcha, sweet potato, apple and crazy flavours like wasabi. So without further ado, let's get started! A little more about Boksu. The founder Danny was frustrated that he couldn't get his favourite Japanese snacks back in the US so he came up with this idea. Boksu is a monthly subscription box that sends you hand-picked Japanese snacks to your doorstep. It's different every month and there's a preview on their website so there won't be much surprises. There are classic and tasting boxes and different subscription plans. There are also many promo codes on their website so be sure to check it out. I'll drop the link to the, in the description box below. This video is not sponsored so I'll give my honest review. So each box comes with a thank you note as well as a catalogue so you'll know what's inside. Going down the list of February's box soup, we have cranberry and almond, matcha double berry and almond, dark chocolate, dark matcha, matcha, strawberry, matcha leaves, hojicha, amao strawberry, purple yam, and white peach tea. First up, we have cranberry and almond, which has chunks of whole almonds and cranberries on dark chocolate. It is bittersweet. Next up, we have matcha double berry and almond, which has a matcha base with crunchy almonds and berries on the top. It has a nice tartiness to its gentle sweetness. Dark chocolate is a little more bitter than the regular ones, plus it has added bits of dark chocolate cookies that gives it a nice crunch. Dark matcha is infused with stronger flavours of matcha and has more complexity in flavours than the Otonano Amasa matcha but it's sweeter than the regular matcha Kit Kat. Next off is matcha. It has a light flavour that goes well with the white chocolate. Next is regular old strawberry, which is slightly tarty with little bits of strawberries. Next one is one of the Gente or limited edition ones. Hojicha is only sold in the Kansai region and it uses hand-picked hojicha or roasted green tea leaves. The second last flavour is the Amao strawberry, which is fruity and honestly tastes the same as the regular one. Last but not the least, we've got purple yam flavour which is pretty sweet. It tastes like purple yam indeed in autumn if it even has a taste. The white peach tea is really fragrant and tastes really good. I highly recommend this, though it would taste better with sugar. This peach tea can also be used to make milk tea. I hope you enjoyed my review and overall I felt that this box was pretty worth it if you enjoyed its contents. Also the box ships out in batches so be sure to check out the description. My box came in one week after the shipment so I thought that was pretty fast. Also this is the tasting boxu size so it's a smaller size alternative so be sure to check that out also. Overall for my review, for its contents and its price, I would give it a 4 out of 5, its service and a 4 out of 5. 
and it's a thumbs up from me. I would recommend it if you enjoy Japanese snacks and you do not want to buy so much you just want a tasting sample. So anyway, I've come to the end of my video and I hope you enjoyed its contents. I will hope to see you in the next round so be sure to drop a like, subscribe, comment and share and I'll see you in the next round. Bye bye! Do leave a comment on your favourite Kit Kat flavour and also I have other videos so do watch them too. Thank you and see you in the next round.